everybody. Welcome into another edition of the Coach O Show along with Wildcat head football coach Chris Ostrowski. My name is Ryan Beckman. Coming up on this week's show, we take a look back at the Wildcats 35-17 win against Walsh on the road Saturday night. We'll get Coach O's thoughts on the win, take a look at highlights. We'll talk with junior quarterback Shea Brown and look ahead to the senior day matchup against the Ferris State Bulldogs this coming Saturday. But uh, Coach, uh, going out on the road, long trip down to Canton, Ohio, but uh, come away with a 35-17 win and uh, it was all about taking care of business on this trip for the Wildcats. Yeah, no question. I thought it was a um, uh, the next step in the progress for the program. I think it was a um, uh, an absolute have to get win, mm -hmm. and we knew that going in. Um, and I just think our players, our coaches, uh, they understood the adversity that happens when you're on the road, and and, and um, you, you got to be un understanding of those things. And and you're it was just for me sitting back and looking back on it now, uh, it was awesome just to see uh, just how special of a group this is, how we really are bonded together. We talk about our unity all the time, and uh, when the ball got kicked off, we were committed to just executing and winning. And uh, the offense uh, continues to roll, another 30-plus point game for the mm -hmm. offense, five touchdowns uh, on the evening. What did you like about the offense's performance? You know, I, I thought they were, um, came out fast. You know, mm -hmm. we came out fast, and uh, we thought we could do some things schematically, and our players just really executed again. And then, uh, the, you know, I think that the best part of what we were able to accomplish uh, in this ball game was uh, that, that big drive where we, we put the score at 35. Mm -hmm. um, and Shea had a great scramble on a third down, and then on another third down, hit Trey Hipke on a, on a, on a cover zero throw. And, um, you know, that changes the complexion of games, and then we were able to run the football in. Uh, and, and instead of it being 28-17 with five minutes left, mm -hmm. it's 35-17, game's over. Um, and, um, you know, that, that, that knockout punch is something that we've, you know, we've kind of struggled with. Uh, and uh, we were able to get that done. And the defense uh, doing their job as well. Two more takeaways uh, for the defense yeah. on Saturday night and, right. and holding an opponent to 17 points on their, on their home field. No question. I thought our defense um, was uh, pretty dominant throughout the whole day. I, I think um, it will give up some yards and things, but for the most part, uh, you, I rate the defense on how, how many points we give up, and I thought it was a great day for the D. How about uh, special teams as well? Because yeah. that was an area that, uh, that excelled on, on Saturday night. No question. You know, I, I think uh, you know, we had that big fake punt with, with, with <laughs> Rob Solani, and we, we, we were perfect from our field goals. And uh, yeah, I thought we were just really good in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams, and, and the guys really complimented each other. Absolutely, and uh, always key now as you guys uh, come back home, uh, makes that trip yeah. just a little bit shorter on the way, right back. Yeah, you know, we changed up the way we traveled a little bit, and I, I think our, our players really loved it, and uh, I know from a coach's standpoint it was good. And we got back here Sunday night, and it was, it, was, it, was, it was good. All right, we'll take a break here on the Coach O Show. When we come back, we'll talk with the junior quarterback, Shea Brown, here on the Coach O Show. The Coach O Show is sponsored by... The Coach O Show. Our guest this week is uh, junior quarterback for the Wildcats, Shea Brown. And uh, Shea, let's get your thoughts first of all on the Wildcats uh, win on Saturday down in uh, down in Canton, Ohio against Walsh. 35-17 win, four touchdown passes uh, for you. Uh, what did you like about uh, the team's performance on Saturday night? Well, I like that we came out strong. You know, road games have always been a Achilles heel for us, um, but it was nice to come out strong. Um, we kept it up. Uh, offense played well and defense forced turnovers, played physical like they always do and we pulled out with the win and that's all you can ask for. What was the, uh, the big key for the football team this past Saturday? The big thing was just traveling on the road. Honestly, it was about getting the win on the road. You know, that was the big emphasis. You know, we need to prove to everybody that you know, we can do it and um, we did it. And basically it was just execution um, and that's it. Four touchdown passes uh, for you, now 23 on the season, which is uh, the single season record for Northern Michigan in terms of touchdown passes. Your thoughts on, uh, on breaking that record? Um, I think that record's a reflection of how well the team has done this year. Um, I've had great protection, and I have had great protection for the last three years because my offensive line. Um, I've had great receivers, um, Marcus Tucker, Trey, AY, uh, Keandre. I can go all the way down the line, sure. Paris. 
Um, and then along with that, we've had great protection from the running backs, great run game, and it's, and it's helped. And that contributes to the passing touchdowns. It's not all me, and no, no quarterback could ever say it's all them. Talk a bit more about, about this wide receiver group. We've had uh, wide receivers down throughout the, the season here on the show, and, and it's just a deep group, as, as you kind yeah. of alluded to there. And how much easier does that make your job? Doing? You've got a number of different targets you can go yeah, to. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. There's not, there's not too many things teams can do against us. Um, if you key on Marcus Tucker, we're going to go to Keandre. If you key on Tucker and Keandre, we're going to go to Paris, you know, and just down the line. Like I said, um, it's, it's nice to be able to spread the ball out that no matter where I throw it, I have confidence that they're going to catch it and make a play after the catch. Talk about your uh, progression as a Wildcat quarterback uh, from when you got here now, starting as, as a true freshman to now in your junior year. Where have you really improved the most? Uh, I think the game has really slowed down for me. Um, Coach Owes did a great job teaching me. He was, he's really showed me how to uh, distribute the ball, um, see things pre-snap and how it might change post-snap, know where to get the ball, how to see blitzes. Um, basically just playing quarterback, move your feet, move in the pocket, understand where pressure is coming from um, and deliver it. How much has, has your confidence grown as the season's gone on? Oh, a lot, a lot. Um, the first game was rough. That was uh, not my best game, uh, but the guys picked me up. And it, it's a family we have. Um, and I didn't let myself get two down because I knew the next week was going to be better. And um, our team has played great, and I, I love this team, man. Senior day coming up on, on Saturday. Uh, talk about this group of seniors. What have you learned from, from this group and what mark are they going to leave on this program? Um, they're going to leave a pretty big mark. They, uh, they're great leaders. Um, they're hard workers and they've dedicated so much to this program. And it's sad to see them leave right before the turn. Um, I really do think this program is at the next step. Um, and we're going to reach that next level very soon. Um, it's sad that they're going to leave right before it, before it all happens. I've grown close with a lot of them, if not all of them. And it's, it's going to be tough this year to say goodbye. Absolutely. Uh, Shea, we appreciate the time, and uh, best of luck on Saturday. Yeah, thank you. You bet. That's junior quarterback Shea Brown joining us here on the Coach O Show. We'll take a break, continue with more right after this. to the Coach O Show. It's time now to take a look at the highlights from the Wildcats' 35-17 win over the Walsh Cavaliers. And as always, we start with the offensive highlights. Five touchdowns uh, on the night for the Wildcat offense coach and uh, strong offensive performance on Saturday. Yeah, you know, I think we, uh, we broke down some red zone stuff and uh, a fun night and, uh, you know, historic stadium. You know, here's the funny thing about the Hall of Fame Stadium. Um, we were there and uh, that, was, that will be the last game ever played on that surface. So I think the next morning they were going to tear it up as they redo, uh, redo the field. So kind of cool little history. Cool. We, were, we were the last team to play on the field. So here we are. We're getting our regular uh, little cluster set there and, and uh, uh, kind of moving around with, with motion. And, and, you know, I think that we're, you know, we're obviously a spread uh, deal and it's, it's about processing the information. And uh, I think it starts always with our offensive line. Does a nice job protecting and giving Shea a nice cup to throw the football in. And, Keandre catches the ball in some space and uh, he's able to get himself in the end zone and that, you know that's a young man that just continues to progress uh, professionally, personally, academically. He's just um, you know becoming a man right in front of our eyes sure. and uh, it's, it, it's great to be part of and see, see that. Yep. And that's really what I want this program to represent, uh, a place where guys can come uh, and become men. Sure. Uh, great touchdown for us and uh, we see this view here. And, uh, obviously, just a back view. We talk about right, it right, right all the time. I'm not going to say it's a teaching tool. <laughs> I can uh, yell that all the time, but you know, guys just doing a heck of a job. And um, you got really two young guys on that offensive line, and two freshmen, and, and Vinny Propson and Ziggy Aldridge that are, that are really just playing. And then two seniors that we're going to desperately miss, mm -hmm. and Zane Weaver and Kyle Stuke, obviously. And then Jordan comes back. He's a junior for us right now. Uh, but those five guys are, are doing a heck of a job. Uh, and Coach Boss obviously does a, does a hell of a job teaching those guys. So just a good football play, I think, and um, create some issues and get in the end zone. One of three touchdowns of the night uh, for Keandre Craig, which uh, ties an NMU uh, mm -hmm. single game record. Yeah, absolutely. Again, a little bunch set for us, get close to the red zone area now, and uh, we'll, we'll just throw the ball out in space and, and uh, uh, let Marcus be Marcus, and, and then it's just about making somebody miss. But the, the key to the play is, is obviously Marcus is, is terribly talented and does mm -hmm. a great job making the young man miss, but blocking on the perimeter. I mean, that is, that is as good as it gets. And, and any team that's a good football team, especially in the spread offense, has to block on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. And again, Coach Knight with that core of receivers, uh, they understand the importance and they take pride in it. 
Uh, and then and then Marcus does the rest, and that, that's 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 Wildcat football. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've talked uh, each week about the wide receivers out there in the perimeter blocking, and, and yeah. done an outstanding job. And Marcus Tucker, once he gets the football, uh, he knows yeah, where to go. No question. Uh, this was the, this was the last touchdown uh, of the day, and and uh, uh, this was the this was the, the nail, as they say, right? Right. Right. As they're putting it away, and um, I thought it was just a good football play. Uh, we'll be in a two back set, and we run the football, and. We're just trying to get a hat and a hat, and then uh, Aaron just makes a couple guys miss and gets himself in the end zone, and uh, that was, that's a big touchdown for us right there. Yeah, and set up with uh, some nice blocking to open up a hole for him to, mm -hmm. to run through and find the end zone. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Well, how about uh, Shea Brown on the night with those four touchdown passes and then setting the, the, the season record for TD passes? I know he's just a few yeah. yards away from, from that record as well. Yeah, you know, we talk about it all the time. You know, he's a guy that, that's in my position room, mm -hmm. and... and um, so he, he's, he's had to deal with me on top of him the whole time. And he, he's another guy that's just becoming a man in front of our eyes. And every game becomes a little bit better and a little bit more confident. And, and you could see in his play and his body language, um, he understands the, the position and how to, how to go about um, moving in a pocket and processing information. Uh, and, and he really is a product of the offense. He knows the offense and knows how to make it work for him. Uh, so it's exciting. Shea's got a lot of games left. He's got a lot of career left here. Um, so we'll just we'll work as hard as we can every week uh, to be the best we could be. And, and I'm, uh, I'm really, really excited for him and for us. And that's great to see him progress the way he has. Yeah, no question. It's been, uh, been exciting to watch and, and fun to watch, uh, that's no for question. sure. No question. We'll take a break here on the Coach Joe Show. When we come back, we'll get into the defensive highlights from the Wildcats win against Walsh. That's next here on the Coach O Show. The Coach O Show is sponsored by... Coach O Show as we continue looking at highlights in the Wildcats' win against the Walsh Cavaliers this past Saturday. Time now to get into the defensive highlights and uh, lots of highlights from the defense on, on Saturday night. No question. I, yeah, I think they played with great effort all night and um, did a heck of a job um, in regards to just understanding the importance of keeping them out of the end zone. And these are just three really great clips that I thought we did. And I thought we had a great plan and, and um, Kids really executed the plan. So we get ourselves going here. It's a big third down for us, a third and long play. Got to get off the field, right? We call it the money down sure. in our program. Um, and let's get off the field. And um, a great job doing a little drop coverage there. And Levi Perry just is, he's having a, an all glee act type season. He really is. And, and uh, uh, he's a senior. We're going to miss him. He's been such a part of the culture here. And uh, just a first class kid, makes a really big play here. And I have no idea where he's going. Uh, right there, I mean, you catch the ball right there and get up the sideline, <laughs> sideline, but no, uh, a good pick and, and getting upfield and doing a great job and, and uh, um, really good play for us and a sudden change. Yeah, a uh, two-year captain for you guys as and well. a two-time captain and a two-time captain uh, respected by his peers and uh, he's going to have a great future in front of him. He's going to be a successful kid, no doubt about it. Okay, as we get going here, another big part of the game here now, this is the fourth quarter. Uh, so we're near the end, and you got to come up with a play, right? And it's all about uh, creating some pressure, and um, just a three-man, just a three-man pressure scheme for us. And Malik Smith, who's a, a redshirt freshman, who's going to have a heck of a future here, went to high school at Hales Franciscan in Chicago, and uh, smart kids doing a great job and makes a great play here. And they they rule out a sack, and uh, just really good football play. How have you seen Malik Smith grow this season? Because as the season's gone on, he's gotten more aggressive and, and really yeah, kind you know, of stood out. I think, I think it's the same theme for a lot of our guys. Mm -hmm. he, he, they are growing you know, with the culture of the program. Sure. He's just getting bigger and stronger, and his body language is different. The way he goes about playing the game is, is changing, and uh, he's going to have a heck of a future here. There's no doubt about it. And He's a, he's a really great kid to be around, and he's, uh, he's doing a hell of a job, no doubt about it. Okay, now we get going, and, and this was uh, in near the end again as well, and uh, just, a, just a great job playing the football, and I think our defensive staff did a heck of a job of just uh, making sure our guys understood what routes looked like and, and matching routes and doing those kind of things, and Keyshawn just comes over the top of, of number two there, uh, playing the field corner, and just jumps in front and, and anticipates and, and has a really good pick, and then gets upfield a little bit with a good return, and... Um, 
that was a big play for us. Yeah, absolutely. Second interception for Keyshawn Walker mm -hmm. on, on the season as well. Right. And, and uh, I know we talked earlier this week, and you were talking about just how the defense has been have been uh, really good at coming up with the takeaways, and, and the offense yeah. really good at, at, at hanging on to the football. No question. You know, here, here's a couple stats that are that are uh, that are clear cut. Uh, um, deals that, that show us where we are as a program. We are plus nine in turnovers, mm -hmm. and we are the third least penalized team in the league. Uh, and and that's, 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 that's discipline. That's understanding the importance of taking care of the football. That's understanding the importance of creating turnovers. Uh, and, and I'm really proud of the guys. It's, those are two things that clearly equal success. Uh, and if we could just keep on that path here for the rest of 2015, the next two games are going to be fun. Absolutely, and and uh, you know one of the guys that uh, we got a chance to talk to uh, the other night on the radio show was uh, was Daryl Williams there on the defense. Yeah. And, and, you know, and what he's brought to the uh, to the team uh, this season as a sophomore has really yeah. been phenomenal. Yeah, DJ's a young guy, and he's a uh, another kid that just embraces the program and works as hard as anybody and uh, great personality mm -hmm. and he's he's uh, he's going to continue to grow as a football player and you know every time we talk you, you know it sounds like I'm talking about the same for every guy uh, but that's the culture that's mm -hmm. who these kids are and um, uh, DJ is going to have a great career he's got a lot of more football left and uh, he'll continue to grow and continue to get better and better and uh, South Florida product we've sure. talked about it all the time and uh, proud of him. Absolutely, and uh, phenomenal play from uh, from him and the defense on Saturday. We'll take a break here on the Coach O Show. When we come back, we'll head to the final segment, talk about Senior Day and the matchup with the Fair State Bulldogs next here on the Coach O Show. Here on the Coach O Show as we get set for the final segment. Wildcats getting set for the final home game of the 2015 season. The Ferris State Bulldogs in town on Saturday at the Superior Dome. And final home game means uh, senior day. And uh, let's spend a moment talking about uh, these seniors on this football program because they have really helped grow this football program. You know, they are the program. They, they're, they're it. And uh, 13 real special guys to me and, and my family. And uh, uh, they'll always be part of us and part of what we've created here in Northern Michigan. It's going to be a tough group to say goodbye to, but at the same time, it's a day to celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, celebrate great careers. Um, they're going to finish here with, 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 with the Cats winning games, mm -hmm. and um, uh, all uh, 13 of our seniors uh, are on track to graduate, uh, and we'll do that uh, within the calendar year, um, and that's what I'm really most proud of. And now I know you'd like to have more games with them, but thankfully still have at least two more games with yeah, this group yeah, of seniors yeah, for there's sure. there's no question. You know, I, this is a group that you say, it's gonna be, we're going to have to replace some of these guys sure. now. And, um, it, but more than, than them as players was their unbelievable, unrelenting commitment to me in the program, even when it was three years ago and everybody was like, you know, we're doing a lot of things different. Is sure. this right? And they were like, Coach, tell us what we need. Tell us what you want. And we're going to do it. And they never wavered. And um, I, for that, I'm always going to be indebted to this group. Well, it's going to be a big, a big day and a big game on, on Saturday. The Fair State yeah. Bulldogs coming mm -hmm. in. Two very good football teams uh, taking yeah. the field at Superior yeah. Dome. And we talk about Fair State, talk about uh, their quarterback and Jason Vanderlaan. Yeah, you know, he's, he's rushed for more, uh, more rushing yards than any quarterback in the history of college football. Mm -hmm. He's a four-year starter. It's taken every snap. Uh, they're big, they're fast, they're physical, blah, 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 all that stuff that they do well. Um, but they're going to play a real good football team mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the Wildcats. And they're going to play a place that's going to be rocking. Mm -hmm. And um, they say the 12th man is in Seattle, but I, I think it's going to be in the Superior Dome on, on Saturday. And I think there's going to be a lot of people in there that are anxious to see us play and win. Yeah. And not just play, but play and win. And... Um, it's going to be a great venue for college football and uh, to play the number two team in the nation. I know there's some polls or two or three. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Uh, Coach, as always, appreciate the time and uh, best Thank of luck you, on Saturday. Go Cats. All right. That's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of the Coach O Show. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're back next week to recap the Ferris State game. So long, everybody. The Coach O Show is sponsored by... 